Hey YouTube, it's Barber JP. I'm back again with another video. Now, this video is not a new gas mask or anything. It is a video concerning this mask. Not just the US M17, it's also about the Czechoslovakian M10. What I got for you today is a, an instructional video and some other interesting facts, I suppose, not interesting, more like helpful facts. So, today I'm in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the uh, chemical protection hood, the M17 and the M10. But, before we start, I'm going to show you the differences between the Czechoslovakian M10 hood and the uh, M6A2, or the M6 series chemical protection hoods for the M17. Now, I'm going to show you this hood right here. What I have right here is the M6A2 chemical protection hood. It's got a zipper going down the middle of it. I believe this is the right one. It's got a zipper going down here. This hood was made for the M17 series. Put that down. What I got right here is a M6 chemical protection hood. There's no zipper going down here. It's very similar to this one, but it's not. It's the same exact thing. Both these hoods were made for USM-17. Now, when I bought my Czechoslovakian M10, it came with this hood. This hood didn't fit that great on my Czechoslovakian M10. So, I had to figure, I had to basically really try to put it on there and it was hard. And I finally got it on there and I realized it really wasn't the right fit for it. Now this hood, this hood is the Czechoslovakian M10 chemical protection. Also fits the M10M. Um, there are very big differences. As you can tell, there's no no zipper, no ties, no anything. On the back, it's elastic. On the inside, it's got uh, some markings. It says SBR10 on here. This is the correct chemical protection hood for your Czech M10s. Now, this hood is increasing, being, becoming increasingly difficult to find. I got this for like $14. This is the right hood for the Czech M10. If yours looks like this, it's made of a, it's like a rubber material. It's not, not very much to it, except the elastic. So if your hood looks like this, this is for your Czech M10. You're lucky because these are getting increasingly difficult to find. Now these hoods do not fit the Czech M10. They do, but not that great, and you have to put a lot of force and try to force it on there. This hood fits the Czech M10 like a sleeve. Now I suppose I'll show you some differences between the Czech M10 and the M17. If you notice the filter inputs, the Czech M10, the uh, filter input is actually farther away from the voice diaphragm than the M17 series. So, the reason the M6 chemical protection hoods didn't fit that great on there is because of the wider space between the voice diaphragm, the XL valve, and the filter input. So, that's the reason why they don't fit that great. It, they are not the correct hoods for the Check out tens, but they do fit. I suppose if you really want to put a hood on it, you can. So I'm gonna show a video how to install a hood on a mask. Um, I'm gonna do it on the M17 only because it's easier and it saves me a lot of time. But it is pretty much the same exact way for the Check M10. So what you're gonna do for the M17. You really don't need to take anything apart. You don't need to take this rubber piece off and you don't need to take the filter and put this out. But for the Check M10, it's different otherwise. Take the filter and put this out and take the rubber piece off the exhale valve and the voice diaphragm. It'll make your life so much easier. Now, easiest way to do this is if you put the mask inside the hood first, just like that, throw it inside. What you're gonna do, 
where the hole for the exhale valve and the voice diaphragm is, you're going to put it over the top like this and you're going to stretch it down. The M6 series they have for the for this down here, it does stretch, so just stretch it over it. I'm not going to put it on all that great for the video, just to give you an idea of how you're supposed to install it. So there it is, you got it on there, real easy. Alright, next, next part. Excuse the thunder, it is storming now, so um, lovely Michigan weather we're having. So it's on there. Next step, usually what I do, I put the holes over the filter inlet disc. So you don't need to take the filter inlet disc out, just merely stretch it over them. I'm not gonna put them on all that great for the video, but it, they may seem a little difficult to put on, but just keep fiddling around with it and they'll go on perfectly. Yeah, see, just like that. Beautiful. Do the same for the other side. These chemical protection nodes are actually really easy to install. They're awesome. They're very easy to install. There we go. So far, so good. Now, let's do the eye lenses. For the eye lenses, all you're going to do, you're going to take it, stretch it over the top first. That's why I just find it easier to do. So it's over the top part of the lens. And all you're gonna do, you're gonna take this and just dig your finger into the bottom of the hood and just shove it into, inside the lens. So that one's installed. Let's do the next side. Just like that. Take your finger and run it through the bottom edges of it. You should have absolutely no pro like no real problems installing this. It's very easy. And there you go. The hood's installed, but it's not done yet. You also gotta put the outserts on. I have the laser green outserts for this mask. So now it's very simple how to install these. All you do is that, here's the back side of it, it's got a rubber flap on it. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take the flap and, over, and just overlap it like this. Just like that. Nothing too hard, but for the M17 series, the, uh, the outserts will have a white mark on top of here. That mark indicates that this lens goes on the, this outsert goes on the right lens. So you gotta put this one on the right side. So this one's already done. All right, here's the right lens. Now all you're gonna do, you just put the outsert on, just Rest it on top of the lens like this. Just rest it on top like this. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the flaps and just fold them over back onto the lens. Just like that. Now, sometimes it won't fit on that great. So just keep fiddling with it until you're able to install it the right way. This process can take a couple tries, but you will get it eventually. So I'm just gonna do this here. This ain't the greatest. Oh, actually, that's really good. Now, the seal on it should be really good. You shouldn't be able to just pull it off. So you got one lens on there. Now let's get the last lens on there. Just like this. Really, really simple steps. Nothing to it. And before you know it, it's done. 
You got your uh, M6 chemical protection installed on your M17 series gas mask. Now, I'm not going to install the check M10, but it is pretty much the same exact way. Except that from when you're installing it, do the same exact steps as the M17. Stretch it over this first, then do the filter of this. Now, what's different is that when you put the hood on, you line the hole with the hood, this hole on the hood, perfectly up with the filter inlet discs. And then what you're going to do, you're just going to screw it back in so that the hood will literally be attached to it. When you screw it in, this should, it might take you a little bit of effort to actually screw this back in, but it will get there eventually. And you put this back on, and then you also do the outserts. Now, the Check M10 series outserts, I've noticed there, I've had a lot more problems with them. The rubber is a lot heavier material, so fiddling with this, try to flap it over, is kind of a pain. What I learned is that you take, you flip the lens upside down, you take the bottom part of it, rub it up against your pants, so that flaps over and you flap this side over, so that the, it'll just completely flap over. That's what I learned to actually work, because these are a pain in the fucking ass to actually flip over, so. Um, that's it, that's all that really is to it. So, and this is the correct M10 chemical protection hood. So, hope you guys enjoy your newly installed chemical protection on your um, your M17 or your Check M10. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not gonna yell at you if you decide to install an M6 chemical protection on your M10 gas mask. It's no big deal. It, it fits, but it doesn't fit all that great. So. Uh, that's all I got for you guys, so hope you enjoyed my little informative video on uh, chemical protection hoods. Hope it helped a little bit for anybody who had trouble with your chemical protection hoods. So that's all I got for you right now, YouTube. So uh, peace out, keep collecting, and have a nice one. See you guys.